we're out in front of the down-to-earth woodworking shop today outside because we're going to do the dado torture test to see what is the strongest depth for a dado in three-quarter inch plywood. Got nine samples made up. The dados have been cut one-quarter inch deep, three-eighths inch deep, and a half inch deep. And there's three different tests. One of the tests is what I'm calling the shear test, which would be pulling down like a shelf on a bookshelf. Another test will be the tear test, trying to tear this piece out of its dado. And the other will be a simple pull test, pulling on the plywood to see how much weight it takes to break the bond. So those are the tests. This is the test fixture. It's pretty simple, built out of uh, two by fours, glued, screwed together. And I've got a little uh, fixture holding jig bag here that's made to where the sample slides in with a very snug fit into the back up against two stops so that each sample is in exactly the same location. And then, in simplicity, got a five gallon bucket, chain, and we've got a bunch of six pound bricks. And we're just going to pile the bricks in till the joint gives way and then calculate which joint is the strongest. So let's have some fun. Now we're testing first the quarter inch, then we'll come back and test the three eighths, and then we'll test the one half. And there we go. It has uh, one, two, three, five bricks, which is 30 pounds. That's not much weight. Let's take a look now at the joint and see how it broke. As you can see, that was a uh, pretty clean break on this quarter inch dado. It actually broke right out of the pocket. So there are some wood fibers in there where the glue held the wood fibers, but you can also see the glue here where it sheared right off of this quarter inch dado. So we know that uh, the quarter inch is not all that strong. Let's try the three eighths now. Okay, I'm setting up now to do the three eighths inch shear test. We'll slide this sample in. up to the stops, attach the bucket, and we're ready to start putting bricks in. Our last one, the quarter inch, broke at 30 pounds, so let's see how this one does. Whoa! That's unbelievable. That gave way in 12 pounds plus the weight of the bucket, which is about three and a half pounds. That's amazing what happened. It split the plywood along one of the plies in the process of tearing this out. Well, I have to tell you, that last one really surprised me. So now we've got the shear test with a dado cut one half inch deep in this three quarter inch plywood. So let's see how this goes. Okay, it's starting to give. Uh, look, it's giving way. You can see the curve in the plywood starting to starting to go. Okay, here we go. Okay, now this next series of tests will be what I'm calling the tear test. This is a dado run vertically with uh, the uh, piece mounted in it 
and we'll be trying to apply the weight this direction to tear it out of the data. And we'll follow the exact same protocol. So let's put the first brick in. So far so good. Ah, looks like we're going to use a few bricks this time. Number six. Number 10. Uh-oh, I'm running out of places to put bricks. Number 12. Uh-oh, I heard a crack. Here we go. <laughs> okay, this joint, the glue tore away a couple of the plies and a little bit of the wood in the back of the joint. So overall, this was a this was a pretty strong directional joint. Um, like I said, 12 bricks at uh, six pounds a piece. That's 72 pounds, three and a half pounds for the bucket and chain. So that's 75 pounds compared to our shear test. Pretty good. Okay, it took 12 bricks to tear this joint apart in this tear strength test when the data was a quarter of an inch deep. Now this is the test piece with 3 8 inch deep data. Let's see how many bricks it takes to tear this apart. Number 16. There it goes. Okay, it took 16 bricks to pull that one apart. That was a very strong joint. 3 8 inch depth dado was the weakest in the shear test and in the tear test so far is the strongest. All right, now this is the, uh, the tear test with the dado at 1 half inch, the deepest dado. I'm a little concerned since that last one took 16 bricks. I'm afraid I might not, if this joint is stronger, I may not be able to get enough bricks in here. But let's see, we'll take a shot. Okay, there's our base load of six bricks. Now, see if I can stack these in here a little smarter. That broke on the seventh brick. The eighth brick hadn't even uh, hadn't even made contact. Very interesting. The half inch deep dado was weaker than the three eighths inch dado. Okay, so the uh, tear strength and shear strength tests have been done. So now I'm going to reconfigure my fixture holding apparatus here for the pull test. This is a horizontal piece with a dado in it and a piece hanging down that's been glued into that dado and we're just going to put weights on it until we pull this joint apart. This is the quarter inch one so let's start piling in some bricks. Number 18 Number 19, and the last of my bricks, number 20, and we're still holding. That's a one quarter inch dado trying to be pulled out of this piece of plywood. And I hear cracking, so I believe the plywood is going to break this piece of us here if we put just a little bit more weight on it. Okay, we've got 20 bricks on there so far. One, twenty-two, and it finally broke. As you can see, it actually split the core of the plywood to pull this joint apart. 
there's a little bit of wood left on the end here, the glue being stronger than the wood itself. So this quarter inch dado was very, very strong. I can't imagine. Let's see what the three eighths one looks like. Okay, so it, it took uh, every brick I had and a couple more to uh, break the quarter inch dado in the pull test. Now we have the 3 8 inch dado, so we'll see what it takes here to break this one. 15, 16, I don't think we're going to make it, 16 bricks. And I can see exactly what happened. Because of the depth of this dado, the plywood bent easier, allowing the sides of the dado to give. Very clean break. Some wood fibers attached where the glue was. But as this flexed, it flexed away from the sides and the only thing that was still attaching it was the bottom. So it'll be interesting to see if the half inch is even weaker than this. Alright, so this is the last test. This is the pull test with a half inch deep dado. And since this is the last one, I'm going to zoom in on the joint itself so that you can see when it finally gives way. Okay, we've got nine bricks so far. That's ten. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's given. So I'll put number 11 in. Well, this dado depth torture test has been fascinating because some of the results surprised me quite a bit. In the shear test, which is kind of like a bookcase, this piece in a horizontal dado with the force pulling down on it like it would be on a shelf in a bookcase, the quarter inch dado was actually the strongest. The 3 8 inch dado was the weakest and the half inch was pretty close behind it. Both of those joints were very, very weak. However, when we went to the tear test, which is a vertical dado trying to pull the joint apart this direction, we found that the 3 8 inch depth dado was the strongest. The half inch was the weakest and the quarter inch came in second. Then on the pull test where we had a dado and a flat piece of wood and we were trying to pull the joint straight apart this way, the half inch was by far the weakest. So I think what this tells me is that uh, depending on where we see the racking, tear, shear, or pull stresses on a joint might determine the best depth. But for me, I'm just going to keep making quarter inch dados in all my cabinets because it's worked all these years and I haven't had any trouble or any failures. So I think for me, I'm going to stick with what I know. But this has been a fun experiment. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back and see the next video. Thanks for watching.